dubbed the future of farming. Vividly imaginative and out of this world, hydroponic gardening is a distinct reality and for all intents and purposes, highly practical and worthwhile adventure. Though still slightly mind-boggling and is yet beyond the grasp of the best of us. According to history, its origins date back to the famous hanging gardens of early Babylon and China's floating gardens cultivated those thousands of years ago. The more modern concepts of this farming have seen the likes of Pan American Airlines, among a lot of others the world over, practicing hydroponic gardening with success as far back as the 1930s. By the late 2015, a select few Zimbabwean farmers, mostly male, also took up hydroponic gardening and soon opened the floodgates for fellow farmers to join the melee. Several women took this initiative, thus creating their own new normal. Now, just what is this near phenomena, a new paradigm for Zimbabwean farmers? Hydroponics is uh, we are growing something without soil, which is, which is soilless farming uh, with a medium cocoa pit. Then it, it, it only uses water and it needs some gadgets, uh, which is the gullies, which we are supposed to, to use to grow the, the, the product. And because it is still farming, a pursuit still worthy of serious contemplation and engagement, with the basic age-old tenets and set rules intact, in place, unbroken. Just like any farming, you need to know the nutrients in the water that we are going to use. When we are using uh, soil, you need to know what is there in the soil. So you need to take the pH, you need to take the soil for testing. So with hydroponics, you just follow the same process. You need to take your water for testing. So if you take your water for testing, they will know the pH of the, the water uh, from 0 to 14, the ordinary pH scale that we use. So this pH will determine what we are going to use for, that, uh, uh, for the nutrients. At a glance, all this does sound a bit far-fetched, almost jargon. Could she then have had some kind of specialist training or similar to be this adept, or she simply put her mind hard at it and began farming? I've got a passion of farming and I've been doing farming all along and I enjoy farming. I'm doing table grapes, I'm doing a greenhouse tomato, I'm doing a lettuce, open field lettuce, I'm also doing a greenhouse English cucumber. When I started horticulture, I really wanted grapes. I've got a passion for, for grapes. I love grapes. So I would go into spa, buy some grapes every time. So I said, ah, why can't I do grape farming? And when I started doing it, I saw that there's really something that you enjoy when you see it growing. Who is this unusual person? One whose sights are set to change the face of farming as we know it. I started farming way, way, way back when I was still a little girl. Uh, I was born in Musana, in Bindura, and my parents were peasant farmers. That's where my uh, uh, farming passion started. We, after all, inherit different and far-ranging attributes, skills, and gifts from our parents, ancestors, and so on. Harness them to suit, fit whatever trends prevailing, most of them modern. Venencia Mkarati is holding her space. When I wake up in the morning, I go into the greenhouse, I just check if my water is there and um, with uh, the instruments that I have, uh, I can check even the pH uh, of my water at that same time. Then when I come back in the evening, I do the same thing again. I've got uh, my assistant, a person who helps me at home, Charity, she's always by my side. Uh, she checks if the water is there every day. If there is a problem, even with electricity, she just calls uh, and uh, notify me that there's no electricity or the water is low. I really need to do this uh, on a commercial basis because for me, this hydroponic is not a hobby. I've done something before which I said is a hobby, but hydroponics, I really want to grow it. Then again, life is not entirely hydroponic farming. It is a lot of other things. Life has to be wholesome, well-rounded and livable. To forget for a moment the challenges, the cons mostly, to do with hydroponic gardening. Apart from hydroponics, uh, I do so many things uh, as a wife, uh, as a mother, I've got so many things at home. I've got uh, chickens, uh, uh, the popular known uh, roadrunners. Uh, I've got some chickens at home. I also have some mango trees. I've recently planted some strawberries. 
and uh, above all I'm also selling some soda stream machines. I'm actually an agent, so it's a South African agent, so I do sell some soda stream machines here and there. And finally, a word to all those and others out there, especially women. It's the new normal. To me, as a pioneer doing this hydroponics in Zimbabwe, I've seen that it's not even a challenge. Uh, for the ladies out there, the women out there, I want to tell you that this is very possible. We can do it. Uh, what you need to do is just to learn how the system works and then we'll be able to do hydroponics.